spring has already produced several severe storms, and that means that uh, many people have a, a roof that's seen some damage. Yeah, but homeowners need to be really careful who they hire to make those repairs. Our Griffin Wright joins us live this morning to explain. Hi, Griffin. Hi, Jody and Andy. So those contractors that are less than reputable, they're called storm chasers because they show up right after a storm knocking on your door saying that your roof needs repairs when sometimes it may not need repairs. And worse yet, after they do their work, they may leave it worse off than before and then they just disappear. So here are some things that you can look out for to avoid getting in trouble with a shady contractor. I think the uh, first thing is to look for a local company in the Des Moines metro area. Um, along with that is make sure that they've been in business for, and then my recommendation would be 10 plus years. Um, and then just have them come out, interact with them, see you know, what kind of you know, service and quality they can provide for you. So sticking with a local roofing company that has been working in the community for a while and then having them come out to do an inspection before signing any contract is good practice for avoiding sketchy roof jobs. Gerardo Perez is the owner of Andrews Roofing Company in Des Moines and he and his father have been repairing roofs around the metro for over 25 years. Perez says that storm chaser contractors have been around for a long time. Most storm chaser contractors are from companies that are out of state, which Perez says causes issues down the line for customers. Any issues that you may have had or any improper installs and then your warranty that comes with your roof, you know, how, how willingly are they willing to come back? And I think that's the biggest concern that our customers have. Um, and when that happens and no one comes back and repairs that, that's when you know, we get a call that says, hey, you know, my roof is not coming back. That's when we typically come out. So the really difficult thing here is these people, they come to your door at your time of need right after a severe store, storm and then they try and upsell you. So it's really tempting to just go for a quick fix there, but it's important to do your background checks and to not really sign anything until they do an inspection, until you hear back from your insurance company as well. All good information, uh, Griffin. How, how's your parents' roof looking? Oh, hi. Oh, it's Andy. Ask him how his I've been waiting to talk to him all morning here, about it's... this. I'm glad it's finally my turn. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> this is a good story, Griffin. Uh, I had this exact thing going uh, going on with one of my neighbors. Uh, the storm came through last year. Uh, the insurance had not even gotten to his house yet. There was a roofing company that showed up. He got the all new roof, and it was full of holes. He's had to have the entire thing replaced, and that's a, a giant pain. Thank you, Griffin.